In this video, I am sharing my Costco grocery haul for the week. I'm also putting all these groceries away. I am refreshing my powder room and decluttering my laundry room slash mud room. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Janet and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and I post videos about cleaning motivation, mom life, and home projects. Starting off on this end, we've got a gluten-free cauliflower pizza kit for me. We also have a regular pizza kit for everyone else. I've got uh, three of the salted butters, package of yogurt drinks, there's 16 in here. Those are great for school lunches. Uh, we also have some chocolate milks, again, great for school lunches. Two flats of bubbly. Two containers of 3% organic milk. And back here we've got some indiv individual packages of cookies. Those are also really great for school lunches. Uh, there is a package of crinkle cut kettle chips, orange juice, peppers, cucumbers, a veggie tray. My kids really like snacking on these. So if I buy the whole tray and put it in a container that fits in the fridge better, they just will eat this entire thing. Um, so that's a great option for us. Got raspberries, spinach, uh, avocado, or sorry, guacamole, two packages of bagels, Parmesan, brown sugar. We've got some of these mandarin orange cups. These are another great thing for lunches. Popcorn twists, one of my kids has already gotten into those. Uh, seaweed snacks, coffee filters, navel oranges, avocado oil, I use this for cooking, honey, vitamins for the kids, slices of cheese and different deli meats. We've got some shredded uh, pizza mozzarella for our pizza kits. We've also got some of the seven cheese pasta. Um, Marco and the kids enjoy this, so this will be three different meals. This freezes, so um, we'll leave one in the fridge and then freeze the other two. And for me, I have these uh, buffalo chicken Flings. They are delicious and they're gluten free. So that is everything I got this week at Costco. I'm going to take a couple minutes to just get everything put away in the fridge and in the cupboards. What I like to do is take off any sort of outer packaging. So for things like um, this orange juice here. I'm just taking it out of the box so that it fits better in my fridge, but also it's more accessible when things are out of their bigger packages. So um, I'm doing the same thing here with these individual sized containers of things like yogurt drinks and um, guacamole and then any of the snacks. I just like to depackage them all and then um, line them up in the fridge and the pantry so that we can just grab them and go. It just makes our life a lot easier. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I'm still fairly new to YouTube and definitely learning as I'm going, but I'm having so much fun making videos and watching my channel grow. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. That really helps to support my channel and help it to reach more viewers. These veggie trays from Costco are great for their convenience, but they don't fit in my fridge that well. So I'm just transferring the veggies to these Fridge Smart containers. I've had these for years. They're from Tupperware. Um, I don't know if they're still available, but those fit in my fridge really well and definitely are efficient on space. I'm also just uh, filling up my bins from my pantry shelf. So all these snacks are just really accessible and we can visually see what we have. And then that way when kids are packing their school lunches, they can just grab whatever they want to put in their lunches. So it definitely saves me a lot of time. It makes 
uh, the children more independent and I can visually see what we have and what we're running low on. Now that I've got all these groceries put away, I'm left with this giant pile of recycling. So I'm just breaking down all the cardboard so I can take those out to the garage. And then I'm going to take a couple minutes to tidy up this kitchen. Uh, there's stuff on the counters and the dishwasher needs to get unloaded. So I am just gonna take a couple minutes to get this done. In my most recent video, I did a kitchen declutter and it's definitely been paying off. I'm noticing just better function in my kitchen and I'm so glad that I took the time to declutter and to go through my drawers and clean them out because it's definitely saving me time now. So I'm really glad that I did that and I'm motivated to keep decluttering other areas of my home. Um, January is definitely a declutter month for me. I just wanna clean and pare down on the stuff we have. the kitchen is all done I can move on to the powder room this medicine cabinet is just too full there's too much stuff that didn't all need to be in here unfortunately I lost the footage of me cleaning out everything but I decided to move the nail polish somewhere else in my home and then as I was cleaning it out I found a sunblock that had expired in 2017 so clearly this was well overdue and I'm only putting back the things that I know that we use in the mornings uh, when we're getting ready for school. So like stuff for hair and extra toothbrushes so that my kids can brush their teeth down here in the morning. Um, dental floss, deodorant, just, just the things that we need in the mornings. I had two smaller baskets in here before that sit on the top of the toilet tank. But I noticed they were collecting a lot of clutter, so like my kids are putting toys in them and just miscellaneous things. So I'm going to try using these two bigger baskets for just toilet paper and the other one for just hand towels. So I'm just taking a couple minutes to figure out how this toilet paper is going to fit best in these baskets. And then the other one I'm using for hand towels. Does this happen to anyone else where you spend time decluttering an area and getting it all nice and refreshed and you turn around and realize you've made a giant mess? Um, I definitely have this experience pretty much every time I reorganize or declutter and I'm also noticing that my laundry room slash mud room is just out of control so I need to spend a couple minutes in here and just deal with the stuff. I think that there's probably too many things and I think that the organization systems I have just need some attention. So I'm gonna take a minute before I do that and just swap over the laundry and get a load of towels in. In 
our home, we do not have a coat closet. We originally had one beside the front door, but we took it out and we replaced it with hooks and a bench. And then we also did hooks and a bench in our laundry room so it could become a mud room as well. For me, this forces me to stay on top of the items that we are storing in our home and it's just make sure that we are using the things that we have instead of just storing them. And uh, here's a funny clip of myself and my husband. Well, forgot about this. <laughs> this I normally keep in the closet, so it should probably get washed. Okay. I wear this around the laundry. This I, com this I completely forgot about. I don't think I need these. <laughs> So that is why it's important to take everything down and to physically touch it, look at it, uh, so that you can go through all your items and know what you have, and then if you don't need it, let it go. decluttering and organizing, I'm always running across items that don't belong to me. So before I get rid of anything that doesn't belong to me, I always check with the person just to make sure that they're okay with letting go of that item. And this is really true for my children as well. A lot of times something that looks like trash to me isn't to them. And it might just be that they want to say goodbye to the item before it gets thrown out, but Either way, it's important that they get the chance to decide, yes, this is keeping, or no, it can go now. And uh, this just avoids any hurt feelings down the road, and in the end, we end up with a space that's still nice and organized. We keep our children's socks down in the mudroom where we keep the children's shoes and this just is really functional for us. So I'm just going through all these socks and taking out anything that I know is too small or is just getting too thin. Um, I also wanted to share this uh, little board in my laundry room. I put all the single socks in here and then when I find the match I know exactly where the single socks are so I can pair them up and put them away. washed a bunch of the kids snow gear so snow pants and gloves and then also a coat that was too small for one of my children and um, now that everything's all nice and decluttered and organized I can go ahead and put everything away where it belongs and by the time we were done this I ended up with a kitchen trash bag full of stuff that we can um, donate so that feels really good just to get the things out of here but also um, to pass them on to somebody else that can use them. It's, uh, it's great to have that done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.